functional teams has got new functionality for data loss prevention. You'll have seen this functionality in the Office 365 suite in your E3 plan, where you've been able to create data loss prevention policies for Exchange Server, for SharePoint and OneDrive for Business. Now, these new policies are focused on Microsoft Teams and are available if you've got an E5 subscription or if you've got the Advanced Compliance add-on. Now, I'm going to show you very quickly how these work. So these are focused on the chats themselves. So if you already are using the DLP policies today, then you won't need to add new ones to protect OneDrive files that are shared, for example, over Microsoft Teams or data that's stored in SharePoint behind Teams as well. This is focused around the chat messages themselves. So what I'm going to do is show you ever so quickly how this works. So I'm just going into a new chat in Microsoft Teams and I'm going to add in uh, something that contains some sensitive information. So I'm going to send this over to somebody. They've asked me to send this over to HR. And we can see on the screen that I've sent over a UK national insurance number. Now, what we expect is that this is going to be blocked. And as you'll see now on the screen, the message gets blocked and we've got a no entry sign saying, the message is blocked, what can I do? And if we tap on that, then you'll see it shows this has detected an EU or UK national insurance number. And we've got a message saying you can't share this type of personal information using Microsoft Teams. Now, to set that up, we need to go into the Security and Compliance Center. So over in here, we've got the Security and Compliance Center with Home, Alerts, Permissions, Classifications, Data Loss Prevention, and Policy. Now you'll see that I've already got a policy in here, and that's the one that's been triggered. Now, if I want to go and create another type of policy, I'll create a basic one that covers all of Office 365. And you'll see how straightforward this is. I'm going to pick, uh, in this case, financial data. I'll scroll down and choose UK financial data, credit card numbers, EU debit card number, and SWIFT code. And it's given me a name for the policy already. So I'll press next. And if I want to, I can protect content in Exchange, Teams chats, channel messages, OneDrive and SharePoint, or I can choose specific locations. Now, if I'm using an E5 license for just some users, then I might need to have a specific policy that targets just those people. Uh, but in this case, let's say I've got a policy that protects everybody. I can choose next, and I can choose to detect when the content is shared with people outside the organisation, or with just when it's shared internally with people inside. Now, if we go back and say, let's create a policy that just focuses on Teams, then I can pick just one. So if I choose Teams, Chats and Channel Messages, I can choose the accounts that we're going to target. Now, in this case, I won't pick any. Choose Next. And again, you can have a look and see what kind of content we want to pick, what kind of people we want to share with. So in this case, people inside my organisation and what's going to happen if that policy is matched. So we can have the tip that people will see in Microsoft Teams that you saw over here in the what can I do, where we can say you cannot share this type of PII using Teams. Uh, and we can see how many occurrences this might take. So we could draw that down back to just, just one, for example, if we want to make sure that it fires every single time. And then we can restrict access, like we've done here, and block people from seeing it. I can choose next, I can choose everyone, I can uh, choose whether people can override the policy. And first of all, I can test this out. So before blocking, I can see what the effects are. Or if I want to, I can just switch it on straight away. Now, this will take about 24 hours or so to take effect. But once it does take effect, we will have DLP in Teams.